Hey guys, this is TNN and today I thought like, you know what, let's record this video in the outdoors because it's quite nice and sunny today and I haven't done that in quite some time. But anyways, let's get on with this video. Today we're going to unbox and review the Fiverr watch. Yeah, that is right. This was shipped to me straight from the USA and it's one of the first few ones obviously that were made because it's just literally come out and they just got made so uh, let's get on with this unboxing. So the box is really, really nice actually. Um, comes in this really nice plain box it's got Fiverr watch written on here with their logo you've got their seal and their website you can go and check it out if you're interested in purchasing this link to buy will be down below in the description as well um, we've got some information back here Fiverr watch got the information uh, the color is black onyx color type is 512 megabytes Fiverr.io slash watch user manual can be found here as well and that's pretty much it all around the box. Let's go ahead and let's cut this seal and let's get straight into it. So the shipping was actually really, really fast. It came in about a week or so. So pretty fast shipping, not too long. Let's go ahead and open the seal up. And oops. And this is it. So this is truly, truly one of the most beautiful smartwatches I have ever seen. And I will be doing some close-up shots after this unboxing. So this is one of the most blue beautiful beautiful smartwatch that I've ever seen and reviewed on this channel so here is the watch itself if we can go straight into it and get it out can we yes we can so here it is look at that it looks beautiful with this leather strap all around we're gonna have a look at that in just a sec let's move that to one side let's see what else we have in the box and we've got this really nice design over here oval shaped design so when you pull it everything comes out so on this side over here we've got the magnetic charger so it obviously clips straight into here. We'll show a closer look on how this works, how this works, and how that happens. But uh, very, very nice matte design all around this magnetic charger as well, and it's quite thick and good build to it as well. So that's really, really nice. And then, oops, it just spilled out everywhere. And on the other side of the thing, we had a small screwdriver over here. Not too sure what this is for, but it must be to open up the back of the watch because there may be accesses at the back of the watch as well. So we'll have a look at that. Put that to one side and of course we also come with the small marker usb charging cable let's go ahead and take this out and it is a very nice high quality flat cable design all around and let's see how long it is probably not going to be too long because you don't need it that long it's about half a meter long marker usb cable and again this flat noodle design cable all around so really, really nice high quality cable and um, Let's just go ahead, I'm going to go pack all this up and we'll be right back. So here we have everything that came with it. We got the watch here, we got the charging cable, uh, we got the charging crate or crate or whatever you want to call it, whatever it's really called. And then we got the, of course, the mini screwdriver as well. So now let's have a look at the actual watch. So it's got quite a bit of weight to it, I have to say. Uh, it does feel like a really, really high quality watch. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Uh, the strap looks very very nice I have to say, very nice design they've gone for over here. Let's try and open it up. It's quite a tight fit all around. And like, of course it is brand new so it has not been used. And it's literally just been man manufactured and all. So we've got the fiber watch in at the back over here, got made in China. We've got the magnetic connectors over here to charge the watch. And we've got a heart rate monitor scanner over here as well, right underneath the device too so how do you charge the watch you simply grab the cradle like this and it just sits on there like so and you see this micro USB part grab the cable plug it in there like so and then plug this straight into your USB wall outlet or your USB plug whatever you're using your computer your TV your PC it just needs to be powered up and you can charge this device instantly so we do have a screen protector also pre-installed on this device so we're going to go ahead and keep that on there as well just to keep it more safe and protected but that is how you use the charger and it's quite well stuck on the cradle as well so you can see here I'm putting a tug in so it's really really stuck on so the magnets are strong and the design that they went for over here of course the cuts and the grooves it all keeps it fixed in place so a very, very good design very, very robust build um, of course the screw the screwdriver over there was to open up these four back, four back screws over here so if you do have any malfunction or problems at the back you can go ahead and open it up 
we're not going to do that anyway because we don't have any issues at the back so we don't need to do that uh, the dial switch doesn't move or turn it is simply just for aesthetic looks but it does look very very nice of course we have the power on and power off button over here we've got what seems to be a microphone on the side on the right side and on the left side we have the speaker grill we don't seem to have a camera anywhere so this phone this smartwatch does not come with a camera but the leather strap does feel very, very nice high quality very thick leather as well um, we got a the buckle over here again very nice metal design buckle so the build quality is very very nice you can feel it here the middle the materials already you can feel it straight away really, really nice big high quality metal and qualities so let's see if it's got some juice in it let's go and power it on if not we will go and charge it up and then power it on oh uh, we do have some juice so we've got the fiber logo here So um, viewing angles actually, I am in bright sunlight right now. And we've got the Android logo as well. Of course it is powered by Android. And you can see it's starting the apps. So this is powered by Android, I believe 5.0 Lollipop. And um, I am going to use it first, we're going to check it out. But it's quite bright actually, the screen. Considering that it is sunny outside, I'm not too sure if the camera's picking it up. But it is sunny outside and it is picking it up. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up the smartwatch, use it for a little while and we'll be back with a review video. In the meantime I will be showing you some close up shots of the device and of course all the products that came with it. We did not get a user manual but you can check out the user manual on the website and I'll link them all down below in the description. So we, we will be right back with a review. Right guys, so I've used the watch for about a day now, or two days actually, and I have to say it is a really, really nice smartwatch, and it's one of the best smartwatches I've ever, ever owned. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, first off, first let's go through the looks and all. Uh, we have a really, really nice strong leather strap as well, good build quality on the strap, feels great, feels comfortable to wear as well. Uh, at first it feels quite heavy. It is got quite a bit of weight to it but you do get used to it instantly after wearing it for a while after about 10-15 minutes of wearing it you sort of forget about the weight and you get used to it after and then when you take it off you feel like something's missing on your wrist but it's really really nice um, we got a heart rate monitor at the back over here uh, the magnetic pins for the charger uh, they all work really well um, the battery on here lasts a good day so um, of course if you're using it a lot such as if you're on YouTube constantly and you're using it quite a bit then it will last you about half a day but usually it would last a good day. Um, the heart rate monitor is very easy and simple to use and it works very well as well. Um, the back over here does get a little bit stained sometimes and a bit dirty from wearing it. Um, not too sure why but it does get a bit rubby and dirty you just rub that off and it can come off clean again because they've done a matte black design on the back over here. Uh, over here we also have four pin uh, screws it comes with a screwdriver if you open them up we do get a sim card slot and we will open it up in just a sec as well uh, again the leather strap all along with the stainless steel buckle uh, we've got an uh, aluminium or steel build all around here as well we've got this design over here of the clock face design just gives it more of a watch look and feel to it we have the speakers on the side here and the speakers are also very very loud and then we got, of course, the unlock and lock button, also power off and power on button. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew these four over here, and we'll be back. Right, so I've gone ahead and I've removed the four screws on the back. And if we lift up the back over here, we can see the actual build of the actual device. Now, the back device itself... Um, you can see that it doesn't really have any waterproof or water, waterproofing seals around so don't expect this watch to be very good at being waterproof but it is slightly water resistant so if you're washing your hands or rain water then it won't affect the device 
but if you go swimming with it then it's bound to break so do not go swimming or anything like that with this device because of course it's not waterproof and we can see on the inside build over here it's a very very good build inside again no rubber seals all around so don't expect it to be water resistant or waterproof you can see that they got the connectors pins over here just the flappy flat cables so very, very good quality cables over here you can see over here we have the micro sim card slot if you just slide it slide it to your right and then you lift it up like so I assume let's try it. yep and then you lift it up like that you can place your micro uh, micro sim card down there and then close the flap and slide it back to your right and it's locked in place and that is how you put a sim card in this phone in this uh, smart watch really but um, you, you put your sim card in there of course you can use the mobile data with it as well with the sim card so that is mainly the whole point of the sim card you can see over here the magnet pins need to connect with these pins over here so the watch fits back this way so I'm going to go ahead and screw it back in and we'll be right back Alright, so we're back and um, I've fitted in all the screws. <coughs> Sorry for my cough, I've got a really, really bad cold. Um, it's actually really easy to screw on the screws as well because the actual device comes with screwdriver and it does have a magnet as well, so it's easy to put it in. Very, very nice as well. So that's good access to the back as well and it keeps it secure as well as safe. So let's go ahead and let's open, turn on the device now. So it should already be powered on. And the first thing I'm going to go through is the clock faces. So you can see over here, this is one of the clock faces we have. And it shows the pedometer, the time, and the date. Now if you press and hold on your screen, you get access to all the other lock screens. So let's start from the beginning, and we'll go through each and every lock screen. So we got this one over here. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 28 clock faces. You have access to 28 different clock faces and then whichever one you like, you can go ahead and just tap on it and boom, it opens up and that is your clock face. So if you lock your screen and unlock it, you introduce straight to your clock face. If you swipe up, you can see over here, we've got the date, the time, uh, whether we are connected with a SIM card or if we are connected through Bluetooth. And I will go through on how to connect through Bluetooth. It's very, very simple. Um, the Bluetooth connection will only work with Android phones because you have to download an Android app. Uh, at the bottom over here we have the battery percentage, right now it is 74%. We swipe to the left, we have the sort of toggle screen over here, so we've got the brightness. Put it on low, if it works, low, brightness medium, or brightness high. We've got the Wi-Fi button over here, turn the Wi-Fi on and off. The Bluetooth button, turn the Bluetooth on and off. Uh, we got uh, that button over here, location, flight mode, uh, hand brightness screen, uh, silence or on loud, screen on vibrate only, screen on silence. Uh, if we swipe again, we get the fitness side of this, so we get the steps. I've walked 8,067 steps today and 5.8 kilometers. The pedometer on this is actually very, very good. It is pretty accurate as well. Uh, we've got the weather over here of where I am, so 6 degrees, raining, and then that's pretty much it from this side. And then if you swipe back down again, we go to the clock face, swipe down one more time, we got the Google uh, speech feature over here, so the Google Now feature, I'm pretty sure they call it. <coughs> so if I go ahead and tap on here, and I can speak to the watch. Where is the nearest McDonald's? for McDonald's and there you go it will just list McDonald's that are nearby to me so it's a really really good feature and you can see obviously I am connected through Wi-Fi on the internet so we are on Google right now just searching through McDonald's um, 
to go back it's a little bit hard you're supposed to swipe to the left as you can see I have to swipe quite a few times in order to get in order to get there really so it is a bit laggy when it comes to response um, if you're on the clock face and you swipe this way you get the notifications from your phone or on your watch so you can go over here and you can open up so I've got a Facebook messenger notification I can open it or I can dismiss it uh, swipe this way and then we get this is the main menu of the device so first things first let's go for what we have on here we've got the phone so you can obviously call um, the phone feature for some reason only works with a sim card inside so you cannot phone someone through bluetooth connection same with the contacts the contacts will only work with the if there's a sim card inside you don't get your contacts on bluetooth uh, we have the messaging feature again same thing messaging will only work if you have a sim card inside we got settings we got clock of course this is the basic alarm clock and stopwatch again swiping back is a bit laggy so there is a bit of glitch and lagginess in this watch I'm not gonna lie we have the sound recorder we got a calendar and if you open it up very basic calendar got file manager of course in the file manager we see the amount of memory we have so uh, we've used 1.7 gigabytes and we've got about half a gigabyte available so it's um, it's about nearly 3 gigabytes of memory inside here of course the actual watch interface itself uses up memory as well because this is the 4 gig version we also have remote capture so if I'm connected to my phone with bluetooth I can capture pictures remote uh, remote control to play music from my device as well of course I'm not connected to Bluetooth right now but we will go through that we've got music so the actual internal music where well, there is no music inside this watch right now we got the Google Play Store of course this is the normal layout of the Android Google Play Store because this watch is running Android 5.0 so you can see over here but um, you can see over here that the screen is a slightly slightly cut off so you can see it almost says Google Play over here when it's meant to say Google Play because it is a round circular screen we do get cut off slightly and again the problem with going back you see the problem with going back is you doesn't work sometimes so you're gonna have to press the button and there you go so sorry about the noise right now that is my clock and I'm just gonna cut it off and we'll be right back right so the next feature we have is of course is Google Maps uh, of course normal Google Maps you would find on your phone very, very nice feature you can make it you can see over here it's slightly cut off again which can be quite irritating but you can see that you can interact with Google Maps like so but because it's a uh, quite a small screen it is a little bit hard to interact so if you've got big fingers my fingers are quite small and, and skinny but if you do have bigger fingers then you will struggle to interact and use Google Maps and then again with the problem of going back you're gonna have to press the button we then have Google Fit, uh, Google Play Music, Reminder which is basically just a reminder on when to drink water, sedentary reminder, eye exercises, take medicine <coughs> we then have the health feature which is where you get access to your pedometer or your heart rate monitor and the heart rate monitor works very well as well you can see here it starts flashing and you can measure your heart rate um, it does take a little bit of time to measure but it is pretty accurate and I did test it out with a real heart rate monitor as well uh, we also have Google Chrome of course to search your online stuff and then I went ahead and downloaded YouTube so you can play videos on your your watch uh, Find Me is uh, if you've lost your smartphone or your watch if you're connected to Bluetooth press that button and either of them will sound and then I downloaded some other apps just to test them out such as Facebook, Instagram, Crossy Row to see how the gaming on this is and MobJo for videos. So first things first let's go through the settings on here. So we have sound settings here so we've got media volume, alarm volume and ring volume. And you can see over here it is pretty loud. So you can change the ringtone sound and notification sound. and there's basically it's all the basic Android sounds that you get with the uh, Android 5.0 we can then adjust the display such so as the brightness level right now it is on max you can put it down put it up uh, the sleep activity font size 
Then we have the app list style, so you can do matrix round. So right now it was on list, and as you can see now it's turned to matrix style. And then go back on it, and we can change it to round style as well. And there you go, it's changed into a round style, sort of like the Apple Watch look over here. Uh, what else do we have? We have Connect, which of course is connected for Bluetooth, uh, connected for Wi Fi. Let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on, and I will connect it in just a sec. Uh, connected for Wi Fi, as you can see right now, we are connected. Wi Fi hotspot, aeroplane mode, GPS, and of course, mobile data as well. But right now, we don't have a SIM card inside. Uh, we also have Mobile Assistant, so if you go ahead and open up Mobile Assistant and open up a QR scanner on your Android phone, just scan this barcode. It will send you off to an app to download. Go ahead and download that APK app and install it on your phone. Just follow the instructions on your phone. It will tell you. Very simple to do after you scan the QR code. Uh, we also have some gestures as well, such as a screen on raising pedometer service on the background as well. We have power saving mode, language and input. Uh, of course, the various languages we have over here, all from Android. So I'm going to scroll through pretty quickly here. I'm not going to go through that slowly. You can see here some of the languages that we have. So all the basic Android languages really. So I don't want to take too long on this. But there you go. And then of course we can change the keyboard around, play around with it. We've got the date and time settings. Uh, we can reset the watch and uninstall the application and about the phone. If we go on about the phone we can get wireless updates for the device. Uh, model number 5 are watching see here Android version 5.1 so um, let's start testing it out now basically so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my smartphone and we're gonna connect to this device so I'm gonna show you what the app is called so um, let me turn my Bluetooth on and the app is called Sinware so when you scan that QR code it will take you to this app over here to download Go ahead and download this app, and then you can click to connect. So it's going to search, and we're going to catch the Fiber Watch. And there it is, already connected Fiber Watch. And then you can get updates on the amount of steps you walk, application alerts, remote control settings, find device. You can send pictures from your phone to the watch, and vice versa as well. So very very nice features, of course. And every time that I get a message on my phone it will appear on the watch which is absolutely fab that is the best feature of all so uh, if I get a message on my phone it will appear on the watch and I can open it on the watch and it will open up on the phone so it comes up on here what the message is for example let's say I got a whatsapp message it will come up saying I got a whatsapp message do you want to open it or dismiss it if I open it the actual message will pop up on my phone which is a really really nice feature and uh, another feature of course is when you flip the wrist we do get the time which is really, really nice and really useful as well so you don't have to keep on pressing the button to see the time um, let's go ahead and let's actually play some things on YouTube now so you can check out the sound quality so we're going to go on my channel over here and it's a bit hard to use because again like I said it's cut off so you can see here that uh, the YouTube bit is a bit cut off and the search logo is a bit cut off but we're going to go straight into my channel anyway just to make things easier and we're going to play one of my own videos. So if you haven't checked this out already, you can check out my giveaway video. Link will be in the description. You can see that it is quite loud. And you get the normal interface on YouTube as well. However, there will be options there you can sign in through. And you can put it on full screen. And it flips onto this side over here. So if you've got it on your wrist like so, it won't be this way. If you put it on full screen, it will be this way. And then to exit it, you're pretty much screwed, you can't exit it after. So what you're going to have to do is press the button and like so, it exits it. Now we also have uh, Instagram and Facebook, now they work perfectly well, very smooth and very easy to use as well. Uh, we can also try some gaming on here as a crossy road. Now the watch of course isn't a very powerful watch, so it won't handle heavy heavy gaming at all. But it is a decent, decent watch. So you can see over here, it will load it up and it does take quite some time to load up so it can be a bit boring when you're waiting for it to load up and of course uh, it also you'll see it I'll show you in just a bit but the game doesn't really load fully and um, it just about runs this game so you can tell that obviously 
high-end games, it won't be able to run. So it's not really made for gaming, but it's made for social media, this watch. As you can see over here, it is a very, very loud speaker and it's very crisp and very clear as well. So you can see here, we've got the Crossy Road logo. And it's just loading up. Um, so, so far, I actually think this watch is really, really nice. And um, I'm playing Crossy Road on it and it does get a wee bit glitchy sometimes. So it, sometimes the screen does flicker or turn off or, or the game crashes. And sometimes I also get on the watch that is unresponsive and that Android is not responding right now. Please restart and stuff like that. So as you can see, we have Crossy Road. So here it is. The screen just timed out there, I think. And there you go. It crashed. You see sometimes it does crash a little bit but it does work fully and it's a good good watch I mean it's not really made for gaming anyway so I think that this is a really really nice watch I mean for a first actual product from Fiverr first actual smartwatch from Fiverr it is a very very nice watch like I said it's one of the best looking watches I've ever seen the best build quality on a watch most looking is really really good performance is great as well and for the price for the price it is an absolutely amazing product and it's something that you could definitely show off to your mates I mean they will be wowed um, speaker and sound quality is very nice microphone quality is very nice phone calls come out very clear and I'm not going to show it all in this video because I don't want to really really drag this video out but it is a very very nice watch and it's quite slim as well for what it can do it is quite a slim watch and quite compact um, other than that, um, the only problem is really that it's a little bit glitchy. Maybe there will be a wireless update for this device to sort that out. Uh, memory can get full quite easily, so you can't be downloading a lot of applications. And gaming on there is not really that great either because it can freeze, crash, and get glitchy again with games. But other than that, I mean, it does what it's meant to do out of the box. Download apps, social media, connect to your phone make life a lot easier and that's exactly what it does and for the price I think it's a really 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 cool product so um, link to buy this watch will be down below in the description and I think overall score I give it has to be 9 out of 10 I mean for what it can do I mean it's absolutely amazing uh, of course you can use multiple fingers on there as well I've used two fingers to zoom in and it works perfectly fine as well um, the main downside maybe is that uh, the screen is quite fingerprint magnet so you do need to wipe it sometimes but other than that I mean what you get with this watch is absolutely amazing and that's it really that is my review of the Fiverr watch uh, I think it's a very good product and I, if I bought it I would not regret buying it so link to buy will be down in the description and uh, as always thanks for watching this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and overall score 9 out of 10